Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. This one's on finding a track's BPM without knowing. Um, I take it for granted because I use mixed in key. I just drop my files in there and run it through, and it's generally fairly accurate. I suggest you go check it out. I think it's like 50 bucks to go ahead and download that. Um, or you can try on Bport, um, or you can just search on the internet. But if you don't have all those other options that are easy don't come through, um, I'm going to show you a method that I use when I don't know the BPM. Um, I'm just going to use a drum loop here. It's just the drums from the stems of this remix I'm working on. Uh, just so it's very clear what I'm doing. But uh, this method will work on any any track, a uh, drum loop or anything like a full track or anything like that. So as you can see from visually, the drum loop starts um, from nothing and builds up and then it drops into the regular beat. And what's important for right now is I want to find where it comes in uh, the full beat and what I'm sure is a one count, so like the beginning of the bar. So if we go ahead and listen, um, we're going to go ahead and find that. And it's a pretty good bet that where this kick comes in with that crash, that's the beginning of a bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you that the segment BPM says 120, which is the default, and the project BPM is 120 by default, unless you've changed them, of course. So uh, what I want to do is turn warp on. And it says, would you like to keep the clip's current timing? Choose yes to insert a warp marker such that the clip retains its current timing. Choose no, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to hit yes. And it's going to say that it's, this is the beginning of the actual loop or track. And it's at 120 BPM, which is fine. We're going to change that in a second. So I'm going to come over to where we just discovered the beginning of that bar. And I'm going to come in and just double click right here to set a warp marker. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to double click on this to get rid of it. And I'm going to right click and say set 1 1 here. Um, and everything's still at 120. And I know that's not the actual tempo of this track, so let's go ahead and find that. The way to do that is to listen and count out four bars and see where the track comes back in. Two. And four. So here again with this little rolling kick and that crash again is where this fourth or fifth bar rather comes in. So I'm going to double click here to set another warp marker. And I know that's where the fifth bar comes in. So I'm going to drag this warp marker over to where the five is. And now I'm going to come over here to where it says segment BPM. And it's automatically changed it according to the warp that I just made. Um, so. I know that the segment BPM is more than likely 112. And if I wanted to make sure, I could come in again and find out, count out another four bars and pull it over. And I could do that, excuse me, I could do that all the way through the track. But then I have a problem with the beginning down here. Where, where does it start? You know what I mean? There's no way to tell. And in fact, this drum loop actually starts with silence and then a snare comes in. Um, and snares are not always on time. Sometimes they're a little bit before uh, the actual beat. So what I do to be sure is Control Z to undo twice to get rid of that warp marker and the segment BPM is 120 again. I come over to this first warp marker or the only warp marker on the track, I click on it, come to segment BPM and hit 112 because I just figured out that's what it was. And now if you look all the way through the track, it's already all good to go. Boom all the way out here and if it's if you come in and it's all the way warped out perfectly all the way to the end then it's a good bet that it's warped out perfectly all the way to the beginning so what I would do now is take my play cursor to the 16 here negative 16 and I would hover over the play cursor so you get the little play sign there right click and set 111 here and now my whole track is warped out perfectly at the BPM we just found Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.